when uh, when it uh, comes to EU funded projects, mm -hmm. uh, people are always expecting that everything goes smoothly and on time. But in this case uh, of Golbat's Fortress, uh, the deadline was bro bro broken and uh, the job wasn't finished at time. What was the reason for that? Uh, well, uh, Golobats project uh, area rehabilitation consists of five projects. Uh, uh, the first one uh, is the Dundle, the second one is the, the Fortress, uh, uh, then there's the Visitor Center, uh, there is uh, the uh, uh, infrastructure there, electricity, uh, water, and then it's the river embankment on the Danube. Uh, the Dundle, the Visitor Center, the infrastructure, and the, um, the river embankment were absolutely in time. The most important thing in this, this area was the tunnel, no doubt. Without the tunnel, nothing else can be, can be uh, uh, finished. Uh, with the uh, fortress itself, the fortress, of, a unique fortress of the uh, 14th uh, century, uh, uh, delays occurred. Uh, work started there in October 2014 and uh, until this day have uh, not been finished. Uh, the main reason uh, for this was the missing technical documentation. And uh, we have to say, uh, um, ADA um, is responsible for the, for the uh, implementation using uh, uh, EU funds. And uh, uh, unluckily, due, due to the missing, missing technical documentation, which partially we still have not received completely today, uh, uh, we were not able to implement uh, in time. And, and then uh, uh, we had also uh, financial thresholds, uh, financial uh, 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 time points, which we could not pass by, like financial obligations that we have to our European uh, Union. Why uh, you started working uh, if the project uh, wasn't uh, equipped with everything what was needed to uh, we have, start the work? Uh, we have, uh, for us, the, the, the basis uh, is the Serbian uh, law on construction. Uh, we have to follow this procedure. Our job is, is to, to tender and implement uh, uh, the project. Um, for us, the, uh, from the step where we start to work is this uh, permission uh, issued by the Ministry uh, for Construction. And uh, that's the point when we can, we can start to work. That's what, what we did. And uh, 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 starting on it, uh, uh, we, we of course found out uh, that, that there is calculations missing, there is drawings missing, there is description missing, there are things wrong, and that's it. That's a, that's a, a work who, process. Who granted the pro who said that the project was, because the project passed the technical procedures mm -hmm. and controls, who passed those controls? Who said the project can go? There's a, there's a, a state procedure here. Mm -hmm. And uh, other uh, stepped in after this 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 process. After after, after this process, so granted. what we have is 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 the, the permission, and I, I have to say that the, the cooperation uh, uh, between other the Ministry for Construction, uh, the Ministry for EU Integration, and the Ministry for Tourism has always worked very well. You will always have problems there. I've been 20 years of project manager uh, uh, now. And there's no project where you don't see uh, uh, certain uh, problems or something like this. In this case, it's that. In another project, it's something else. It is, it is like that. You said that uh, all the contractors were doing uh, a job uh, uh, as you order it and by the contract. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you want to say that nobody ever breached any uh, like uh, deadline or uh, two-month deadlines which are in the dynamic plans. In Golobats uh, we have five uh, serving companies that have uh, uh, specific problems. One of the problems uh, that you see in Serbia is liquidity sometimes of the companies. And uh, with the concrete case of the Golobats Fortress uh, rehabilitation, only the Fortress rehabilitation, mm -hmm where delays occurred, we were not ready, ready uh, uh, in time. Uh, there, the reasons for the delays lay not with the contractor. This is absolutely mm -hmm. clear. I know I heard it uh, sometimes. It's something that's coming up from different sources. 
but the reasons for the delays do not lay on the side of the contractor. But in the agreement between the uh, ADA and uh, the contractors, mm -hmm. there it says that uh, the contractors are ready for any situation that can happen on the, on the ground. So yeah. he was already signed that he is ready for all the circumstances. Did the ornament pay any penalties because of the delays? No, the, no penalties uh, were paid and this was uh, 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 this, this, this followed uh, uh, the expertise uh, also we are receiving. We, whenever there is an issue, we sit together with our team of lawyers, with our team of technical experts and uh, legally, and legally you speak of a certain level of subs uh, 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 substantial uh, 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 reasons, uh, legally there was no substantial reason why to apply these uh, quoted uh, articles that you just mentioned. According to the rules of the project, the last date for contracting was July 22 in 2014. Mm -hmm. And after that, it wasn't possible to sign a new, new deal to change the contractors mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because that would lead to the withdrawal of the money since there was no one to finish the work. So mm -hmm. uh, that practically means that no matter uh, how contractors were doing, like professionally or not, uh, you could not uh, terminate the contracts with them because the whole project would fail. If substantial reasons, I can say this as a project manager, if substantial reasons would have occurred, we would have uh, finished them. That's it. There were no substantial yeah. reasons. There is absolutely no reason uh, to believe uh, we didn't do anything because of the contractual period. This is absolutely clear. Okay, yeah, but I just wanted to make it mm -hmm. uh, clearly. Te technically, you you could not. I, that's what I asked. No, no matter we could how have, they... Of course, we could have. We could have stopped the contract stopped, at any time and stopped the project. And then, uh, then uh, uh, one a new project would have been the, would have been necessary. But to this begin. one would would stop. This one would stop. Yes. Okay. Did the ornament was increasing the amount? of uh, work which led to the uh, uh, rise of, of the prices of the works because in one of the reports of the supervision mm -hmm. to the ADA uh, there was a, a, a table which uh, shows uh, the rise of the uh, mm -hmm. amount of the works that need to be done yes but th that was uh, the famous case of the tower four mm -hmm. but as you uh, showed us the real uh, real uh, yeah. costs it was uh, double less than it was in that supervision uh, table. Mm -hmm. uh, does this lead to a conclusion that the uh, supervision or the contractors tried to increase the increase the number of works and uh, that which would lead to increase of the money, but mm -hmm. you didn't, uh, of course, accept for? No, I, I, I absolutely uh, disagree. Uh, I uh, in, in this in this uh, case in Tower Four. The design uh, was done in such an uh, uh, insufficient uh, manner that uh, uh, you had about 16, I think 16, 60 working hours planned, but the turnout was 850, 51. This clearly shows how insufficient uh, uh, the, the design is. Why the supervision mm -hmm. sent that kind of mm -hmm. numbers? Because they are much bigger than uh, what was really actually done. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were like 16,000 euros and uh, as you told us, it was only 9,000 mm -hmm. at the end. Well, it's, that's, that's up to there. Uh, what, what counts at the end is the, uh, is the final price. If it's their estimate, it's, it's, it's their estimate. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the decisions we take, not, not, not the supervision. The tender terms uh, for the fortress, which is the most important yeah. and most sensitive part of yeah. the project, uh -huh. was the least demanding. For the fortress, the value of works were almost 2 million euros, uh, but they asked for the contractor uh, to have only one project in five years, which is worth only 160 euros. Mm -hmm. uh, why? It's only 10% of the value of the asked works. Why no. was it so flexible for the fortress, which is most mm -hmm. important part of the project? And uh, with procurement, uh, it is always, you will always have uh, uh, the tension between uh, um, um, having restriction, that means limit the number of, of companies uh, uh, that would like to participate in the, in, the, in the tender, which cannot be the interest, and then also limit the number of unexperienced companies. So this is always the tension that you will always have in each procurement procedures, 
uh, we decided to do it this way. Uh, it, it turned out to be uh, the, the, uh, the selection was, was, uh, was then implemented by an independent uh, unit. You have selected a company, you implement with the company. The company makes mistakes, uh, gets penalties. A company who does not implement uh, gets fired. That's, that's the thing. But, but uh, if there is no legal ground for that, you don't do it.